Oh my goodness, you people. Welcome back to Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. Shall we continue? I guess we shall. Or otherwise there won't be much of a video to watch. Now we'll there. Hmm. So last time we... Uh, we went into the Western Keep. We had good times avoiding a ballista. We met up with uh, the Dark Elf Astos. Who was super cryptic and stuff. And he was like, I have a mission for you. And, like, now we're supposed to go find the elemental crystals, which I think is different from the crystals that the Warriors of Light are lugging around. Uh, so anyway, but first we're doing a side quest here where we're gonna go beat up some extra tough girl here in the, uh... Here in the Western Keep. Who? Oh yeah, we also fought the Black Knight, was that guy's name, and we tossed his horse at him. That was, that was very funny. Very wacky little encounter that was. I totally had a re remembrance. Last time I was having that big talk about the... Uh... Ow! Freaking... Shadow over here. There we go. I'm a cursed guy? Okay, okay, okay. But no, but I wanted to use this because we wanted to grind up so we could get an ability, I remember, yeah. So yeah, last time I had the big thought about the sort of somewhat guilt I might carry for, uh, you know, if, I, if I'm like just having a big laugh with a video game, right, or, or any media really, I was thinking about that. And also in general, like, like worrying about the developers when something they make bombs. That looks worth picking up. And like the 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 shitty situation that you're in if you like worked earnestly on something, but then it just like is a complete travesty in a bomb. I'm surprised I didn't mention this, obviously, but it's very topical right now. Lord of the Rings Gollum, which people dunked and memed on, and like I haven't played it, of course, so I cannot give a honest assessment, but I have certainly looked at it, and it is it's hard for me to picture that if I played that game, like, um, my experience would be different from what other people are having, you know. Judging from all the stuff I've seen about that Gollum game. But it super just kills me. It, it super kills me because Daedalic, Daedalic Entertainment, uh, the, the developers of that game, uh... They, they're like, you know, before they did this Gollum game, they, um, what did they do? They made, like, a bunch of, like, adventure games throughout the, like, 2010s and, like, the late 2000s. This is a time when the adventure game genre was pretty much dead outside of, like, Central Europe, where I think Daedalic Entertainment is from. Uh, and I thought they were doing, like, really good work in, like, keeping that genre of, like, like, alive and healthy. Yeah, so... So, like, it's... Yeah, I... I'm, I'm very, very sad, like, that that's their fate now, that... And, and people really didn't know Daedalic Entertainment before Gollum, I feel like. Like, it, I don't know if... if, if they'll, let me know if, like, you knew what... You were particularly aware of this, like, company before they came out with, uh... The current bomb of the day, Gollum, right? Uh, freaking... So sad. Um, but yeah, no, like... and, and I'm, Okay, I will admit, like, there's a lot of, like, um... Maybe a little bit of low production on their adventure games as well, but you know having played the whispered world There's actual like Earnestness and love for the craft and the genre there as well that is conveyed despite you know Perchance not being Ooh, There it is. It's moving around down there, and there's no cube anywhere nearby. I guess I think this is a sticky situation could we sneak from the top to the beginning of this area where there's like the beginning of the area cube? Maybe? Give that a try? Uh -huh. It's locked, so that's not happening. I'm not gonna top up then just in case. Uh, yeah, I... Yeah, that, that that's just prime example. I'm just like, well, I don't really wanna, because Daedalic Entertainment, I feel like we're an underdog who were like doing a good job in like... 
a genre that was very much neglected back in that time, and, and I thought they were doing good work. And now they finally become, like, known, and it's for a complete, like, travesty. But at the same time, like, I can't start tone policing anybody, you know? I, I, it, it, the game, by all accounts, appears to be pretty, pretty bad, so I just can't, like, be like, think of the developers, you know? It's, it, 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 it's just, it's just sad to me, really, it's, eh. Stay in formation. This one test us. We're in for it now. Come on, we can do this. Don't move again. I'll oh, I got, tried to block the blaster and I just got crunked. Okay. I probably worry too much about what developers feel like in situations like this. Ooh. Yeah, this curl is a, gotta stay sharp, guys. A cut tougher than the ones we fought so far. There we go. Oh, we dropped the chandelier. Oh yeah, oh yeah, got that whisker chopped off. <sighs> feels like every time I play this game, I feel like I'm playing it for the first time. Like, I just feel like I'm completely, like, bungling it here. That was not a graceful fight. Probably could have been a lot more gracefully done, but, yeah. Yeah, I think someone might say, like, I just worry too much about the feelings of, like, these <laughs> companies and stuff. But there are, you know, actual humans working there, you know? So, you know. And obviously this game, like, once this game came out, like, yeah, it gets memed on, but plenty of people are, like, uh, Plenty of people are like, uh, you know... Oh, no, no, no. Plenty of people are like, really love this. Like, like, I've read a lot of happy impressions, so it's not like... It's not like this game is just a joke to people. People, Well, it is... There, there is a joke aspect to it, for sure, but... Anyway. Now, I did get... Like, I didn't accidentally... Because I dismantled so much gear there. I didn't accidentally dismantle everything, did I? No, no, I didn't. I got this blessed stuff on me. Let me go. I think it uh, when I when I hit optimize, I think it optimizes for both jobs you're rocking. I I think. So I think I think it's fine. But I but for some reason I always just check that just in case. Oh my god, a giant shield on her. <laughs> she can hide she can hide entire the, behind the entire thing. That's very funny. <laughs> oh. Right, yeah, job trees. We didn't actually we got like a new level, but can't really push on further. I was able to level up my buddies with those, right? The, the anima shards. I I'll think about it. Bearers of hope is not a new talk thing, right? No, no. Okay, then I guess we're good to go. We got cool stuff. Should I use the Anim Shards? After all, I was just like, do I save those for our buddies? I don't know, we haven't done Jed and Neon in a while, so let's swap in like that. But yeah, should I just drop those on Neon? Or should I level up? Because I'm kind of curious about this night job. Over here. Oh yeah, maybe I should just like aim for that if that's what I want, because I'm not that interested in swords, man. I like sword fighter, you know. So maybe we just use a couple of anima. Increase the slash damage dealt. That's pretty good, actually. Oh right, okay, we can unlock it. That's right. You don't need any once you hit the job, so. You can select advanced jobs from the battle settings menu. Advanced jobs can use more specialized job abilities and a wider array of weaponry. Find a job and equipment combination that suits your playstyle. Knights are powerful defenders who stand at the forefront of battle. They can use Blessing of Light with R2. For a short period of time, a successful guard will unleash a shockwave of light that damages enemies. Hey, hey, that might actually be what I need as a motivation to like practice, uh, practice up my uh, abilities a little bit. Now, let's see. There's Warrior, but then there's also Samurai, which only needs Ronin, according to this. So that sounds a little boring, but I might just go for this, so I might not play around with these jobs further. But... 
Where are you? There's the knight. Blessing of light. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, there's there's another tier of jobs. Now I'm starting to see what the like magic here is with this. Like, and and it looks like it looks like when you like uh it looks like when you, like, uh, get these jobs, like, more weapons become available per job. Um, so... Okay, but these are, like, really demanding, aren't they? Hold on. You need knight, and I'm gonna guess that's an advanced class right there. Yeah, I think it's, like, one of these. So, like... I think, yeah, I think that's red mage over there. And whatever that is, is that big blue cross? I don't actually recognize. It. We'll we'll figure it out eventually. Let we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's work on knight for now, but let's say void knight or paladin. Ooh, paladin sounds fun. I'm thinking, thinking I might be cruising for that. But let let's let's work on knight at our leisure. Okay. Let's just let's just do that. So there we go. I should probably... Can I use Anima Shards on myself, or is it just my buddies? I was like, I probably should have saved for this. A white mage? Really? There's, there's a class called... I don't remember getting a class called white mage. Huh. But anyway, uh, yeah, uh... Is there a, Let's just... Optimize it up real quick. Rocking that great sword. I don't actually have any of the... Apparently, I sold off all my mini sword, so we gotta go by great sword for now. Is there a, a tutorial for that? No, because the tutorials are only for weapons. That's right. So, so the great sword. But you know what? Uh, you know, let, let's make this episode a little long. Okay, fine. Once again, just so I can remember how we play with great sword. Why don't we really quickly just give this a go? Okay. It can't hurt to have a refresher in a game like this, so... Great swords and swordsmen, but I'd like to know about knights. Ow. Absolute jerk. There's that big one. Nice. Gotta play, play more. Okay. Gotta remember some of these moves, yeah. Okay. Cabos. Okay. So. No, I did it the one time. So, uh, and then back. There we go. Nice, like, little area, little effect there. Ugh, okay. Can you do... Hold on. Yes, once you do that follow-up to, a, like, a, like, the soul block thing, you can then pull off the big swing at Rooney. Okay. The, the, like, backward swing that's, like, a bit of a keep-away AoE. Okay, good to know. Really good to know. Still not very clean from me, because I just... Enemies... Enemies are like... I, I'm really just used to enemies that, like, get interrupted. But I guess that's not really the way these games work, so... Yeah. Alright, you know what? I don't know if we make the episode that much longer. That was, like... That was super quick. That, that was two-minute practice there, but... Can't hurt to get that in there. Anyway, Refrain Wetlands. We're gonna cross through here, and then we're gonna hit it up at, uh... Uh, where... Where, where were we going? Oh, yeah, the Wind Crystal, apparently. Jack and the others encounter the Dark Elf Astos in the Western Keep, who informs them that the Wind Crystal can be found atop a tower on the far side of a nearby forest. He also reveals that to restore the crystal's light, they must be willing to make a deal with Chaos. With one last unpleasant smirk, Astos casts a spell that transports the warriors to the outskirts of the forest. Well, that was very handy. 
Jack is visibly delighted by the Dark Elf's parting words, and hurries forward into the shadow of the trees. I- that's a pair of words, like, or, or a pairing of words I don't really believe. Jack and visibly delighted? Okay. Regardless of whether a deal is to be struck, it appears that chaos is indeed to be found somewhere within this world. Alright, that's what he's happy, like, if you can make a deal with chaos, then chaos has to be somehow tangible. So somehow exist beyond just, you know, a nebulous concept. <laughs> Dimension 13 is a strange place crafted and governed by a system of divine machines. Though discovered relatively recently, much effort seems to have been put into investigating whether elements necessary for twisting the world can be found in this extra plane or pocket dimension. All that hard work seemed to point quite clearly at this rather aquatic locale. It appears to be a simple matter to artificially manipulate local weather patterns to force the introduction of unnatural warping into a biosphere. The result? A darkness generator. The product of a perverse design is on full display here, which makes for a fascinating spectacle. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, wetlands. I guess that would be kind of aquatic. I, I think swamp, you know, which this appears to be. <laughs> <laughs> Chaos exists. I knew it. Told you. Oh, that's what he's delighted about. <laughs> that evil laugh. I wasn't even sure who was laughing at first. I was like, is that Osto somewhere in the background still? But no, that was just... That was just freaking Jack getting all giddy at the idea that he's got somebody to direct his poorly explained I've been here aggression before. at. So you know where to go. <sighs> Not really. It's just a vague sense. Okie dokie. This is actually a really lovely area design. Also, for some reason, reminds me of uh, that jungle you race through in Sonic Adventure 2. I don't know why that's the specific forest that came to my mind looking at this. Maybe the trees are just kind of Sonic-y. Or maybe it's just at the wacko edginess. Right, that's unblockable, that big slap. <laughs> Twisted the net. Oh my god. And then, of course, he chucked the guy. I got a free potion for my dumb screw up. I realize my, 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 my recording style might be kind of bad for an action, an action game like this, like a straight up character action game. Uh. His excitement. You look almost disappointed, Jack. Uh, because, like, what I do is I do actually record the three games I play. I do record them in the order that I release the episodes in as well. So I just cycle through all three games. That might actually be bad in, re like, retention of, like, memory of how to play these, like, really kind of intensive character so action sure. games. I, I don't know. Like, I might be, I might be doing this all wrong. Anyway... We're, we're, we're doing okay so far, and the fact that the party members really do help. Whoa, so... That thing changes the weather. Yeah. The forest is different. <laughs> Curious. The plants could grow so fast. There's a chest up there, so... Can we... Oh, there's a chest up here, too. It's a bit of a... A bit of a mazy place, eh? Hazy, mazy, placey... We'll figure it out. Uh, one chest bothers me now. Watch out. Oh, Sometimes nature gets warped. water elementals. Oh, that, uh, not close enough. <laughs> Just slams the water elemental down. <laughs> Rude. Oh, I see. It appears he smashes it on top of the uh, freaking creature there, the sprite there. Oh, man. Now, if I can't talk again about, like, now that I've said that I, I feel kind of bad just memeing on this game, I super have to admit that, like, this kind of, this, this era of gaming is one I don't have a personal fondness for, a huge one. Ow. Ow. 
Like, 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 like that's why I'm also kind of laughing at them. Like, I, I just, these kinds of games that were like these kind of furrowed brow, gur, arg, angry guy games. Uh, like, at least at the time, at the time, it didn't really appeal to me a ton. The, the one exception I can definitely think of is, uh, is, uh, freaking... What was it? What the heck is it? Uh, oh, Gears of War. Like, there was something about Gears of War that just was kind of, like, special? I don't know. It, 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 it had this kind of furrowed brow nonsense macho nonsense too for sure it's like massive edge anger anger edge not even necessarily machismo but like this anger edge guy stuff uh but but here's a war's presentation and the novelty of that kind of gameplay at the time definitely impressed me so so that's that's a different case but otherwise like i'm not super i'm not personally nostalgic for this this kind of vibe of games, and that's why I just find this rather silly. That's a fire elemental, isn't it? They're in the rain? Alright, get that crawler first. Oh, a stone blasting over there. Another crawler. Oh, they got probably like a spitty move. Hey, nice, nice follow-up. Okay. That one went actually pretty good, killing that last guy there. Yeah. But, like, I... Like everything as it gets older, like, I, 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 I lose antipathy. I, I don't know if it's just a personality trait of mine, but I just, like, I don't really... I can't stay angry, or, like, I can't stay, like, disliking things, so... Now that we are moving... And visually, I'm, I, I don't... I don't have nostalgia for the PlayStation 3... Uh... PlayStation 3 and uh, Xbox 360 era games. Visually, I'm still like I don't, don't, don't those don't actually look at all as good as I remember them looking. Right? Oh, this is a. Oh, is this a? Is this where we started? Okay, okay. I feel ya. Night affinity decreases damage taken when HP is at max. Only for good for, like, one hit. So, I'll take that instead. Uh, God, my thoughts are all over the place when I'm trying to talk about nonsense while playing these intensive games. Uh, yeah, I just, like, yeah, that, but, but in a sense, I'm like, now, these were a product of their time. So, now I have, like, that, I don't know, could you call it anthropological interest in, like, these types of games... Now, I don't have the same kind of personal, like, memory of joy for these, because I'm not, like, wasn't my exact jam back in the day. But, like, now I'm just like, yeah, yeah, these were certainly a game that existed, and it's kind of funny that we have these. I'm funny that we are retreading these kinds of games, too. That was actually kind of good. I don't think we won't blow up you, too. Okay, same kill animation for Fire Elemental. That's fine. Ooh, a new, like, pointy sword called Warlord. That sounds exciting. Also, another one of these light orbs here. Looks like we can pass through now. Right, so that opens up a little path there. Got it. A simple, a simple mechanic, but I can I can deal with it. It is making me kind of mess that I'm missing stuff though. But eh. that's the that's the downside though. I I do feel like loot is massively devalued in this game, and you know it's contemporary Neo. I really don't care if I'm missing loot because we constantly get loot, and I'm not even like super motivated in you know like. Thinking about the loot I equip, which by the way, I should have done this while we were at that stop. Ooh! Now I do appreciate this coat though. It's a cool coat. Oh my god, oh, and a claymore is a completely different looking sword. Yo ho ho ho. Oh, but it looks like the 
the defense the warlord sword went to okay see that's a case where optimization i would have actually liked to have that sword oh well i can play with the big sword especially because this claymore looks pretty nutty i, I dig it i dig it quite a bit Yeah, I don't know if I'm just exposing myself here as I'm a bad, like, critic or something, because I... I don't... I, uh, while I do have, like, the stuff that I really enjoy, I don't have strong antipathies. Like, I I don't get particularly angry at the uh, stuff I don't enjoy. Oof. Come on, I'm trying to do my sick... What? Hey, buddy! My blessing of light, did that do anything? Gotta back off a bit, I'm getting like really hurt here. Yeah. See, I'm not sure my blessing of light is actually doing any damage, I can't tell. Oh god! An aerial command grab, not good. Whoa, what are these wheel guys? Hold on. Oh, it's the crawlers. They just... I've never seen that attack before. Cool. Don't think so. Okay, so I... Should we just go kill this thing, right? So this thing spawns enemies. Come here. Oh, and that kills... Oh, I see that, right? That kills enemies when you blow them up, too. Yeah, I get that. Meh. Hooah! Yeah, yeah, hoo Oh, yeah. Nice, a new Warlord Sword. I might be able to equip that now, if we carry on. Yeah, I don't know. My thoughts are all over the place. Cause I, I don't know, I'm just thinking, like... Because I am quite enjoying this a bit, but it's also, I'm just like... I don't know, this is... <laughs> I don't really care about the characters very much. And a weird feeling I can't shake. Of course. You've I th seen what's in the shadows. I think it's part of the design because they are keeping the cubes. Better not forget where it is. Found some cubes. <laughs> they, they are keeping Jack like they're just clearly supposed to be a mystery of like who these people are, but like it's so blunt that the way we're thrust into it. I don't know. It's it just comes off a little silly. Um yeah, battle settings. Another thing, I wish there was like an exclamation point here to indicate that you got new stuff in battle settings, right? Because that's why I keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> ah, not a huge thing, but just gotta get that into my setup as well to remember to do that. Keeps getting that bigger, bigger warlord sword. But I guess I don't have any shield on me right now, so that's why the optimization is keeping me with the clay more. Nah, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, look at how the area... That that I'll give points, though. The, the the individual levels do actually, like... They're evocative and their designs do change. So I do dig that. Another checkpoint, I guess. But we'll get to that eventually, I suppose. Sahagen. I think I did damage there. I really can't tell the Blessing of Light. It, uh, uh, embarrassingly enough, like... That is how it's supposed to work, yes? Uh, how do I check my combo abilities? I think that's where you check it. No, I can't. I'd have to... Yeah, I'd have to go to the job thing, but I can't look up the job tree. That's another design thing I'd say I would enjoy. If, I understand you can only level at the cubes. I would really like if you could at least look at the job tree while you're in that menu. That was a quick one. And so this curl also just gets yeah. That was rough. At least we have time to take a breather. Okay, weird context dialogue, because like that was not rough at all. Like, they seem to, like, be, like, if you had an easy fight or a tough fight, the, like, dialogue is different. But, like, that was... That was, like, very not correct. I've been bound! Ow! So rude. Oh, 
Oh, this guy does a heal. I see. So that's a water elemental can do that too. Not a, not a huge problem, honestly, but... That's a pretty good combo for just a single enemy like that. Seems to get the job done pretty handily. Oh yeah. See, like, now we got a Spartan Cesti level 25, but it's just like, you know, how long until we just get an even better Spartan Cesti, you know? Or, you know, a fist weapon. Okay, there, I, okay, now I saw it. Oh, the Power Spritz, which is, by the way, a really funny name for an attack. It seems to be just like a power-up move that the guy uses. Now, I shouldn't have killed that guy, because we're about to go back to the cube. And... Wonder if we gotta change time again. Time, or weather. Use a weather orb. Eh. Oh yeah, 